Okay, so setup wise, like we talked about last week with this sort of lowercase, while you're doing all this, your grip on the left hand now is better here than it does on some of these shots. It's interesting when you sort of add a secondary thing to think about, sometimes your old grip crips back in. So just be careful when you're holding the club that you're getting your left thumb just off to the center of that grip, because your left palm is kind of here. Sometimes it's crept a little bit back around this way, but generally speaking, you said it was good there, just in terms of the width of stance being a little bit narrow, okay? And because of the stance being narrow, you can see your right foot lifting off the ground now. We've lost a bit of sort of width in the back swing, so now you're really kind of out of balance as you come back in the golf ball now, hitting the ball, losing a bit of balance, back left heel off the ground, and then having to re-step ball, just going way off to the left there, okay? So what we're trying to do now, and you can see the better stance here in terms of the width, okay? Good backswing here now, so you've turned into that right heel. Now we're gonna shift over to that left side, which you do really well. And then we rotate through. This foot can start rolling on up because it sort of slid this way, so you kind of, you've stalled your foot from going anywhere, yeah? So that would have said more the follow through was the issue. Said it was great, backswing was great. Back down to here wasn't too bad. We just didn't quite get that same movement through. So the knees were looking a little bit kind of like sticking out there. Okay, so did another one again after that, I think. No, I mean, that's not okay. So grip on there. Okay, so see your left thumb now, sort of rather than being around this side, it's more kind of an angle across. So if I brought that club there, you want to make sure your thumb is this way. It's not kind of sticking across the grip that way. It's actually more every thumb and this palm here now okay. is off to the side. Just to be aware of that. Okay, otherwise the, the setup generally is pretty good. Okay. So, better width the stance now, as we can see. Back swing is good, yeah? Okay, left heel starting to lift just a little bit. And in fact, both heels, you see both heels at the back there, kind of lifting up. So you're just getting taller now. So when you come back in the golf ball now, now your heels go down, your left heel hasn't actually gone back on the ground. Well, if your left heel's off the ground, are you gonna to wanna to move into that left heel? Cause you're gonna fall over if you're not careful. There's no stability there. Coming back in the golf ball here now, not a bad rotation again, but as we said, the follow through is the movement that we're not quite getting as well, which is to be expected, okay? Changes always become more difficult later on in the swing they happen. Setup changes, you saw from last week, you made one change, boom, and it was done. Static changes, not always, but for the majority of people I give lessons to, you talk about making a change at setup and within two or three shots, they're, they're pretty much there. They might forget later on down the line and go back to old habits and have that grip, but generally speaking, your setup there is good, okay? This movement now is, again, you're not swinging at the golf ball, so there's less speed with the club, and we can make this move now, and you're getting to a good position at the top of the back swing here now. All that's happening now is those feet are just lifting off the ground. This is often, again, trying to make your follow-through better by trying to move your feet earlier, potentially, yeah? You're trying to get into that position. You know you're not quite getting there, so you go, well, if I give a bit extra help in hand, I'll get there earlier. It's almost like going into a corner of a car. I don't get around this corner last time. I'll try and turn earlier. We're going across the gravel, aren't you? So things have to be done in the right time. Like I said, at the start of the session, you can move too much or too little. You can move in the wrong direction or the right direction. Too fast, too slow. We've got to try and just get those movers sort of fit just right. And this is why I say the practice swings, if we can do these again at home, this is a move you're able to do now very well. This is a really good spot. So you could, in front of a mirror, just keep dialing in this motion here. So this becomes literally kind of second nature yeah? then when you say maybe spend i don't know a couple of minutes doing that then spend maybe sort of three or four minutes working more on the follow through and if needs be start here and just follow through so you feel the movement more so rather than the influence of what the backswing does and then you just put the two pieces together yeah so you can talk focus more on one thing at a time and build the two parts of the swing together because obviously it's all to do with the footwork, as we said, what your footwork does. If you do this in the back swing, there's nothing you can't do your follow through, yeah? So yeah. getting the lower half to work better. And as we said, getting the lower half able to work better from a wider stance, yeah? When you're too narrow, you just, you're just you not prepared for the shot to be able to stabilise what you want to try and do, okay? Then when the shot gets there now, as I said, not too bad, but a little bit on the toes, as you said. Haven't quite, and then as a result, that lost a bit of balance, okay? Yeah. And that's going to be a sort of, a, a check, I suppose, to see whether you finish the swing and stay in balance. If you can swing through to the follow through and hold that position, and we often say, like, okay, hold the follow through position until the ball stop moving. That's kind of like a, a sort of a guy's, okay, right, well, that ball's in the air for about three to four seconds. If I can hold this finished position now like this, until that ball stopped on the range or stopped moving or even hit the ground, I at least know that I've had a pretty balanced swing to achieve that, yeah?
Well, can I, does that make sense? Yeah, I get Good that. Good stuff. Okay, have a couple more then.